What's up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. First off, hope you're all having a great day today. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about our next big race in the Outlaw Cart that is happening this weekend. It's called the Wild West Shootout in Missoula, Montana. I'm gonna be giving you all the details and showing some of the preparation we are doing for the race. The track and facility in Missoula is a great place to go racing, and that's why our family and many other families from Oregon and California always make the trip up there for around 4th of July to go racing. So the race is on Friday and Saturday, so we leave tomorrow morning at 4 a.m., so the time you guys are watching this video, we're gonna be trucking up to Montana. But right now, I gotta go fire up my go-kart, wait and balance it, and then we're gonna load the trailer. But real quick before I do that, I've gotten really behind on fan mail. I have three things I need to open up, so I'm just gonna get right into that. This one is from Missouri. Okay, so this guy's a racer himself, is named Ethan Hokenstraw, and he races, actually I, I don't know what they're called honestly, but that's the picture right there. It's a pretty cool looking car. So Ethan, sorry, he's actually from Michigan, and he races things called Mini Wedge. His Facebook is Ethan Hokenston, and that, dang, that's, that's really cool. Here's the fan art he drew. So thank you so much, Ethan. I've uh, never heard of mini wedges, but honestly, I mean, they look pretty cool. And then he also drew his own car. Here's his mini wedge. So thank you, Ethan, I appreciate it. This next one is from Arkansas. So this drawing is from Landon Farrell, and he drew the blue 18T Outlaw cart. Thank you so much, Landon, you did a great job. He even got all the sponsors up here on the wing. So that's definitely going up on the wall. Our last piece of fan mail today is from Wisconsin, and this one's from Jimmy McKinley. So first, I'll show you the picture. Dang, this is awesome. So he has the Sprint car, 18T, the black and white. Thank you so much, dude. This is sick. And then he, so he colored it in. It looks like he got like a, a print off the internet, and then he just colored in the black and white. Spot on, dude, and he's even got all the dirt on it. Like the detail, so thank you so much, Jimmy. Jimmy also put this note in here, and he wanted me to read part of it in the vlog. My name is Jimmy, I'm a big fan. It would be awesome if you gave me a shout out in your next video. Yes, totally, so shout out to Jimmy, Landon, and Ethan for all sending fan mail. If you'd like to send some, the PO box is in the description below where to send it. And then he also said that he lives in a small town in Wisconsin called Twin Lakes. That's super cool. I've heard I have a few fans from Wisconsin, so. Hey man, I appreciate everyone who sends fan mail. Like I said, P.O. Box is in the description below. And if you send some, I'll definitely put you in the vlog. But there is one more thing I wanna show you. It's the thing that's right back there on the wall. We'll turn on the lights. I can't remember what this thing's called, but it's just like one of those big stickers that goes on your wall. We have the factory QRC number 18T. I thought that looked really cool, and a few of you guys were like, you messaged me about it and commented on my video. They're like, what's that? I didn't even know you had that there. Yeah, I just put it up on the wall. It's pretty cool background for the videos. So we got the car all fired up, it sounded great, but now here in about two hours, we're gonna do a weight and balance on the outlaw cart, and in the meantime, I'm just gonna pack and get ready for tomorrow. So we got the blue 18T on the scales now, all I have to do is climb in it, but like I said, I would take you through why we scale our race cars. The first one is just to make sure we're up to 450 pounds or above when we get to the racetrack with the driver in the car. The second one is just to do different setup things and see all the numbers on the race car. So if you look at the scales, this is what it's gonna look like. So without the driver, our cross is about 49.2%. You can also check on here like your left side weight, your right side weight, your front weight, or your rear weight. Just all these different things you learn by scaling your race car. And I've been doing it ever since my second year of racing. It's just something we've always done. I can even remember back to when I was in beginner box and box stock and I had like this wing on my car. 
and we were scaling the race car. So it's just like I said, something my dad's always wanted to do. I'm not sure if it's really helped us out. Sometimes it has, sometimes it hasn't. But one thing it really does help is you can go back and look. So for example, my dad has pictures of Montana from two years ago and what the scales looked like and how if it was good or bad. And he can kind of go and try to make the setup just like that. But now I'm gonna hop in the car. We're gonna get the numbers, see where it's at, and we're just gonna go from there. All right, so the first thing you do once I get in the race car is we have to make sure my wheels are straight. So my dad, he's pretty try hard about it. He gets two rulers, puts them just like that. And how do I look, Carly? Let's stop right there. Now, Carly, you can show him what the scales say. 50.2. 50.2, all right, cool. So that my dad will probably take a picture of that. And if we go back to Montana next year, that's uh, you know, we'll see how this, we'll see how this runs. But I can remember a few more funny scaling stories. Like we used to take it way more serious. I'd have to put my helmet on, my suit, all my racing gear. But nowadays we know if I just climb in the car, the numbers are pretty close to where they're supposed to be. You can also scale the car without a driver. Like sometimes when I drive for factory QRC, they just do it that way. But now we got all the numbers and percentages right. This thing's all ready to be loaded up and head to Montana. So the trailer is all loaded up and ready to go. The only thing I have to bring out here now is my racing bag with all my gear in it. You're probably also wondering, where is Carly's cart? You just have your blue 18T. So it's kind of weird. In Montana, they're not having a 250 class at the Wild West shootout because they don't think they're going to have enough cars. Kind of a bummer. That's the reason we weren't going to go in the first place. But then we made a last minute decision. It's going to be a fun family trip. We might as well just go up there. We were supposed to leave Tuesday, but then we postponed it, tried to make it a quick trip, go up there race the 500 class, and then come back as quick as possible. But now I just need to get my racing bag and then I can shut up the trailer. Trailer's all ready to head to Montana. One of the sayings my mom was uh, actually, she's like, we should put a sticker right here on the back of our trailer saying Montana or bus because this year, so like in past years, we usually have it planned. Like we're going to Montana this year. Like I said, it was so back and forth, but we're going to make it happen. I can't wait to hit the track at Big Sky Cartway. The last thing I needed to do today was get all my camera gear and clothes packed. Now I just got to take them down to the toter home. Guys, we have a few fun days ahead of us. There's going to be three more vlogs coming plus live streams. I'm going to try to live stream the races. That might be kind of tough because I don't think the service is going to be great there, but I'm going to try to hook up to a hotspot and do everything I can to make sure you guys can all watch. But that's going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. If you guys have not yet hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload, I recommend you do because we have speed weeks coming coming up, fun races like the Wild West Shootout, and just racing every single weekend. But that's going to end it. See you guys next time. Deuces.